Well, hi, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with yet another special guest on the Gratitude Podcast interview regarding the pandemic. And today is a very special guest of someone I met, a young lady I met, uh, gosh, a half a dozen years ago or so, and uh, just instantly liked her tremendous energy, tremendous person, Lee Ann Marie Webster. Welcome to the podcast. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. Very honored. Well, I love this young lady. <laughs> yeah. well, it's all relative. Anybody <laughs> pretty much younger than me is a young lady because like I'm getting up there. Anyway, but the thing that I've mentioned on this is that it's just really all about for people like a Leanne Webster, for instance, that are really dynamic and have a lot going on and physically, mentally, emotionally, all those kinds of things. I just have several questions and I think might be of help to somebody else, perhaps that may not have the same uh, bandwidth and, and so forth. So question number one, what has been your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? Oh, um, I think the best, well, other than Ben and Jerry. I <laughs> yeah, that's, I like that. <laughs> um, I, I think the best is just to, uh, it's really reiterated for me that you need to just feel your feelings. Mm. You know, um, if, you, if you're sad or you're angry or you're, you know, I think all of us have gone through the whole spectrum of emotions, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes even in the same day. Yeah. And, and, but it's like, let's just feel them. It's okay. It's okay to have all them. I think the key is just not to get stuck in the ones that aren't, you know, taking you where you want to go, but really just but lean in and feel them. Yeah. That's excellent. That's excellent. And I, another question I have is being the gratitude guy, I'm really big into gratitude and gratitude talks about focusing on what you have versus what you don't have. But have you noticed what you were grateful for before the pandemic versus what you're grateful for now today we're six or seven weeks into this has that changed at all um it, it has it, it has in the sense of i'm i'm with you on the gratitude i keep my uh gratitude journal you know every morning i get up and i write in there what oh, i'm nice. grateful for and then at the end of the day i write my top three moments oh nice from the day to kind of cap it at the end yep um, and, you know, it's interesting. It's, it's definitely, it, it always had a healthy mix of people, you know, being grateful for a friend or for a colleague or a client or whatever. Um, it's shifted a little bit more to a little more emphasis on people and also on health, just being so grateful. And I, I think it's shifted more to like the basics, um, you know, having food, having shelter, having um, great clients, a stable income. Um, you know, being able to connect with friends in a different way and, and growing those relationships. Right. I can't wait to change it to being, and I, I am grateful for being outside. I live in Chicago and hopefully we're going to open up the lakefront um, in the coming weeks. And I really like to do that. And, and more importantly, to hug a person. I really am excited to have that on my list again. <laughs> like, That's a great point. That's a great hug, point. Hug, 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 hug. <laughs> well, I think we really appreciate good some of those things that were taken away, which just we couldn't yeah. have imagined that they would have been. And, and so yeah. with somebody, you mentioned Chicago and out in the lake and getting out. I know you are a big athlete and so forth. What thoughts, Leanne, or tips or ideas might you have for somebody that's stuck in their house or condo or townhouse that they might be able to do while they are kind of homebound at this time? Yeah, I think, you know, um, the thing is just get creative, right? Um, mm -hmm. There's tons of stuff online. Um, my favorite workout group, group that, um, that I love that works out outside year round, obviously not gathering now, but they're gathering virtually. And right. what's really cool is that group has, is in 51 cities around the world. And so, wow. if, you know, if you want to join the LA group while they're doing um, something, you know, that time works better for you, then you can do that. And they're all things you can do inside. Um, it's nice. no better project. I'll just do a pitch for them. Um, so, so there's that. And then also just look around, right? Can you, are there, you know, canned goods you can make into waste? Um, you can, mm -hmm. the stairs in my building, I live in a high rise. The, the stairs are actually right on the other side of my kitchen door. So oh, wow. you can run a few flights of stairs. That's, that's all inside and protected. Um, I'm doing more stretching now, more oh, like lab work, like sit-ups and things like that. So um, I think just get creative. Get creative. That's good. That's good too. And again, I think of somebody who, uh, to the extent that I know you, which I think is reasonably well, and you juggle a lot of balls and you do a lot of different things. I've never heard you say, well, I'm just so bored. I'm sitting here uh, reading a book. I have nothing to do with my life. But do you have any sort of thoughts about now that, again, this we're six or seven weeks into this, 
about being sheltering in place, but being here about how you're going to kind of hit the ground running with your business and other things. Is there any kind of plan you have when this ends? And it will, there'll be a vaccine or there'll be something, but when it ends, any difference how you're going to approach your business and like even get going faster because you've had this time to think or that kind of thing? Yeah. I'm, well, it's interesting. My business has actually been growing uh, even Good. in the of this. And part of it's because I specialize in helping people do things online. So my business mm -hmm. is already virtual. I no. just made it a little more virtual. Mm -hmm. um, and so that, that's one thing is I, I do expect that growth to continue because I think it had people, uh, my clients, people who are my clients have now seen how important it is to have the online system set up. Right. And that's what I help people do. Then, you know, that I can, I look for that growth to continue. The other thing is I really am like all those projects that you, you know, to have time for, I need to update my website. I need right. to work on my branding. I need to get caught up on my QuickBooks. All of those things I'm planning to have done. Like I am really focused on some of, the, some of those creative things that it often feels like you don't have enough time to do and really leaning in and getting them done mm -hmm. now while we have this, this space. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Excellent. Excellent point. And last question is this. Do you have, I, I don't know this about you, but do you have sort of a, a quote or a saying or something out of the Bible or a verse or a, a mantra that's sort of the Leanne Marie Webster overarching philosophy that has gotten you through life and has now gotten you through something like this, which has been certainly as challenging as any of us have probably in our entire lives, but anything that kind of represents your philosophy, if you will. Yeah. Um, I think I had to sum it up. Um, see, now I'm going to add, by the way, to my list to create a mantra. So I really like that. But if I had to sum it up, I think it would be to, to be present and to just expect, the ma wait for the magic to unfold. Mm. If there's anything I've learned in life is that there's, there's a, a plan. There, there's, how do I want to say this? The universe is always up to something better than what I can ever imagine. Mm. When I lean, when I, I hate saying that lean in phrase all the time, but really, but it's true. When you lean right. in, just let you know, have your faith, take your action, do what you're going to do, and just know that it's going to unfold in the best way possible, then that's when, that's when the beauty of life occurs, and all the things that I can't even imagine today are, are happening, so just let them, let them unfold. That's excellent, I really like that, and I, for some reason when you said that, it makes me think of those, I guess they call it a cartoon, where the guy or gal is walking down the set of stairs, and they put their foot out before the next stair appears, you know, and it sort of fills in. And so they just have to have faith that the next step will be there and you won't fall off into the universe or something. But uh, I'd heard that too. A, a number of people, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of really great comments that have come out of these uh, interview podcasts, if you will. And but just the concept of being present, that's been another one that's been, been kind of a thread through a lot too. And it's so important. I talk about in my gratitude journal, gratitude yesterday is kind of the highlight of your day. Gratitude today is being present and gratitude tomorrow is what you're going to be grateful for in your intentions, but it's not here yet. So what's the most important one in the center is gratitude today. So yeah. excellent. Oh, really have, really. It is all we really have is this moment. So, well, speaking of this moment, thank you so much. Those were great uh, comments. Never to put too much pressure on anybody, but uh, gosh, for those comments, those are great. So thank, thank you, Leanne Marie Webster. Thanks so much for being part of this podcast. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I love the work you're doing in the world. Oh, thanks, Leanne. Talk to you later.